Camila Valiva, IOC President Thomas Bach hits out at chilling attitude from figure skaters' entourage. The 15-year-old finished fourth in the women's figure skating event on Thursday, having been cleared to compete by the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CAS. Despite testing positive for a banned substance in the lead-up to the Winter Olympics, IOC President Thomas Bach has launched a scathing attack on the team behind Camila Valiva, the 15-year-old figure skater at the center of a drugs probe who wilted under the global glare of the Winter Olympics in Beijing on Thursday. Bach said he was disturbed by the chilling attitude of Valieva's coaches as she left the ice in tears after falling twice in an error-strewn performance. That resulted in her slumping from first place after Tuesday's women's short program to fourth and out of the medals. Recommended. 1 5th. Khan vs. Brooke. Timing, pricing and booking details. Read more. Recommended by. Valiva appeared to be confronted by her controversial coach Ateri Tutberidze, who, according to Russian media reports, immediately questioned why the Teenager stopped fighting after making an initial mistake on her opening triple axel, and did not offer a customary embrace. Winter Olympics. Latest updates. Where was duty of care of Valiva? Bach said, I was very disturbed when I watched the competition on TV, when I afterwards saw how she was received by her closest entourage with what appeared to be tremendous coolness, it was chilling to see this. Rather than giving her comfort, rather than trying to help her, you could feel this chilling atmosphere, this distance. If you were interpreting the body language, it got even worse. It was even dismissive. Bach. ROC cold to their athletes. The controversy continued as Valieva's 17-year-old Moscow club mate Alexandra Trusova raged into a Russian TV microphone about the apparent injustice of landing five completed quad jumps and only earning silver, insisting, I will never go out on the ice again. Share. This is a modal window. Unsupported location. The video you are trying to watch cannot be viewed from your current country or location. Meanwhile gold medalist Anna Sherbakova, also 17 and the third member of Tutberidze's Sambo 70 club, which has been criticized for its tough training. Regimes that have yielded a number of premature retirements, was left alone in the winner's enclosure and later said she felt an emptiness over circumstances of the I was pondering about this last night, added Bach. How can you really be so cold to your athletes? When I saw and read how Trusova was being treated. When I read about her comments, I am afraid that the impression I had last night was not the wrong one. All of this does not give me much confidence in the this closest entourage of Camila. Neither with regard to what happened in the past, nor as far as it concerns the future, how to deal with and treat a minor athlete at the age of 15, under such obvious stress. What makes Valiva competing controversial? Valiva was allowed to compete despite testing positive for a banned heart medication after the court of arbitration ruled against a series of appeals, including GONI by the International Testing Agency on behalf of the IOC, against the lifting of a provisional ban imposed upon the athlete following the culmination of the figure skating team event last week. The CAS ruling implied that due to being a protected person under the World Anti-Doping Code because of her status as a minor, there was a chance she might receive a lesser punishment should her offense be confirmed, and that banning her in the meantime might cause her irreparable harm. The decision prompted the IOC to declare that medals would not be awarded for the event should Valiva finish in the top three, an announcement that was greeted with controversy but was ultimately rendered irrelevant after she fell out of medal contention. However, the medals for the team event remain on. Valieva's Olympic Timeline February 6. Valieva makes her Olympic debut in the short program section of the mixed team event. Her routine scores 90.18, just short of her own world record of. February 7. Valiva becomes the first female figure skater to land quad jumps in an Olympic Games, as her free skate routine seals victory for Russia in the mixed team event. February 8. The medal ceremony for the mixed team event is delayed due to what the International Skating Union, ISU, describe as a legal issue which requires further consultation. February 9. The Inside the Games website names Valiva as the figure skater at the center of a doping probe which is delaying the awarding of medals. 
February 11. The International Testing Agency, IDA, confirms Voliva tested positive for the banned heart medication trimetazidine on Christmas Day. It says it is appealing the lifting of a provisional suspension by the Russian Anti-Doping Agency, RUSADA. February 12. The World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, and the ISU confirm they have also filed suits to the Court of Arbitration for Sport, whose ad hoc committee meets to determine the case. Voliva, who continues to practice in Beijing, makes an appeal by video link. February 14. The CAS announces that Voliva has been cleared to continue to compete. CAS cited exceptional circumstances for the decision, essentially revolving around her status as a protected person on the World Anti-Doping Code. February 15. Voliva performs her short program, scores 82.16 and qualifies in first place for the free skate. February 17. The 15-year-old falls during her final free skate and stumbles on a number of her jumps. She's in tears while waiting for the results and finishes. Bach said the IOC have limited powers with regard to an athlete's entourage unless they can be proven to be complicit in an offense. However, he indicated that there will be a robust investigation into how Voliva ended up with heart drugs. Some reports claim a cocktail of at least three in her system. There is a positive a sample and that sample has to be dealt with, added Bach. We are dealing with the rule of law, but at the same time we are dealing with a minor. This is a 15-year-old girl who has a drug in her body that should not have been there. The ones that administered it to her, these are the people that are guilty. An investigation into her entourage has to follow. I hope this will bring full clarity. The people who are responsible for this, they will be held to account in the right way, and when I say in the right way, I say in the strongest possible way.